So Games Workshop just dropped a sneaky peek look at one of the new Gene Silicon detachments, the Brood Brother Auxilia. Let's have a look. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to Purple Night Games. So Games Workshop have just dropped a new attachment, the Brood Brother Auxilia. So this is obviously the Brood Brother focused attachment. Took me a little bit by surprise. I've just finished doing a, a long uh, 50 minute video on things that I've missed recently of the new releases. But hey ho, we've managed to do a quick recording and look into this one. So let's jump on in and have a look. So here are the rules for the Brood Brother Auxilia. Attachment. Now we have to address the elephant in the room straight away, or the biophagus in the room. You know, cult and all that. So with this attachment, you can use fifty percent of your points for astrolatarium units, as you would in the old brew of the rule. However, no other attachments can use brew brothers. That's excluding all those data sheets from all of the detachments. Only use Brew Brothers now with this detachment. That's the elephant room straight away. It's taken quite a lot away from other cult armies for those that use Brew Brothers regularly. I did on and off, not very often. So, uh, is it going to affect me? I don't know. Let's wait till the codex comes out to know fully. We're going to look at first of all the attachment rule. Over this, you select Aston Militarum unit because Brew Brothers don't have a Brew Brother keyword, they have the Aston Militarum keyword. And that unit, which is within 18 inches of the enemy, and then shoot it. And that's called overlapping fire, very similar to the old crossfire. And once it's all its thing, Gene Steel Cult unit can then select that unit to fire at it, or any Gene Steel Cult unit, fire at it. And they get plus one to hit. And that's the entire rule. <laughs> you have to use an Astamil time unit to get plus one to hit for the Gene Steel Cult units. Bear in mind, currently with the uh, Day of Ascension, you come from Deep Strike, you get sustained hits and ignore cover. But only one rule, plus one to hit. And you have to be within 18 inches. You can't just stick. Artillery at the back and fire into the into the enemy. You know, your occult units are going to get plus one in 18 inches. So you look. This is more going towards you need to use things like uh, hellhounds, sentinels, and um, lots and lots of regimental units, rather than your artillery and your big tanks, which have the range. So not great there. Not great. It's okay. Plus one hits always always welcome. That's your entire army rule. And interestingly, for a Brood Brother detachment, this benefits the Gene Steel Cult units, not the Aston Militarum units or the Brood Brothers units. But look at the stratagems. Now this one, which is in the Shadow of Iron, which is one CP. And once an enemy unit moves within nine inches of a cult, how much marker? You can pay one CP and put that marker next to one of your astronaut vehicles, as long as no enemy is within six inches, sorry, nine inches of it. But if you have a vehicle which is devoid of enemies, you can move your ambush marker there. Obviously, if that's no use, then you put a new, you're keeping the ambush marker alive, you've got a unit in a useless position with the vehicle. And that costs you one CP. Bear in mind, the cult icon, if the rules are the same, it's at once for battle where you can deploy, redeploy a ambush marker anywhere in the battlefield. And that's away from the models, which is absolutely fine. So I don't know how much use this one's going to be. Next one to look at is acceptable losses. And this was a bit of a strange way. I've really just reread this like one. It's two CP, so it's expensive. And you play it on one of your astronaut time units. And it doesn't specify which, so it could be anything from a regimental unit to a bane blade to a vanquisher a Lehman russ anything essentially you play it on the actual time unit and then you can shoot enemies that are in with engagement range 
of any gene seal coat units. However, it's only one Aston Mill Tam unit on shoot, and that costs two six p. And after you're not shooting, all those gene seal coat units that you've um, depleted enemies from, which we're often using the engagement range from, then you have to roll on a, a d6 on a five plus. You take d3 plus one mortal wounds. But yes, you get your enemy shot back, shot at. Maybe they take out some of the enemy, but then you may also take out a chunk of your unit. Again, not, not too much of an issue if you've got if you've got uh, icons where you can re. Stock anyway, but it's a case of, or instead of using two CP, you could fall back and that Astromill Tower unit can shoot them anyway. Is it any use? Unless you want to keep units tied in, uh, so you charge your genes in, tie them in, and tie units in, and then still be able to shoot them with your Bane Blade, that could work. No range limit on this, so you could even use your artillery as well to shoot at them, but that's only one shot. I can see where those uses are, but that 2 CP just seems very expensive. 1 CP, I think, would have been acceptable. And on to the next and the final stratagem for uh, which games workshop put on show is Regiment of Reinforcements. I just left it there because I love I still love that model. It's still an awesome model. This is your essentially. You use this on Astromotar and infantry units, excluding characters and artillery, so no mortar teams or characters. And if that unit's destroyed in the enemy's fighting phase or shooting phase, so, uh, so a tough luck if you get Overwatch out of the game, you can pay 1 CP and use your army roll on a 3 plus that unit generates an ambush marker that you can place down. Yeah, so you pay 1 CP to use your army roll. Or you could just use neophytes. <laughs> you get to roll it free. So, yeah, I'm not sure how beneficial that is. You very much, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still, I'm still thinking through. I think this would be better if it was two CP, and reinforcements worked as they do in the Aston Mill Town. So that is a look at the new brew with attachment rules and. It's a little underwhelming, I think. They're removing Brew Brothers from all your attachments, and there's a very narrow range of indexes, as it is with Gene Steel Cotton, to remove those Aston Militarum indexes that you have a choice of. Uh, I think that's a bad choice. Okay, you can use this one attachment, but that's got its own issues as it is. So the army rule you have for that attachment, so the, army rule, the attachment rule you have, doesn't actually benefit the Aston Militarum units that you're using as Brew Brothers, it, it benefits the Gene Steel Cult units, which means you've got to use Aston Militarum units to benefit your Gene Steel Cult units, because the attachments are likely just going to benefit the Gene Steel Cult units. So you're going to need to take more Gene Steel Cult units than Aston Militarum units to really gain any sort of benefit from it. Or at least the same amount. It's, I just don't really get where it's coming from. I don't see how much of a benefit it's going to be. The attachments again also seem a little bit underwhelming, allowing you to use your army rule for 1 CP, able to shoot in a combat for 2 CP, but you could just fall back instead, or put in an ambush marker near your vehicle. If you don't have any vehicles, you can't use it. Or you could use an icon ward, 50 points. <laughs> so, if you have one on that is. So I don't know where it's going to be. It just seems so far a little underwhelming. We'll have to see what the Codex has to offer. And hopefully they've just put the, this as a low bar. And what we haven't seen will really bump this up. Because it's a great idea. But so far, it just appears to be poorly executed. Well, that's just my opinion. But what do you think? Leave a comment below. Are you impressed with these rules for a brutal attachment? Or like me, you're a little underwhelmed? Let me know. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Otherwise, regardless, have a good night. And sing your praises to the Flammed Emperor. <laughs> good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.